everybody. Today we are in a field. It's pretty cold and everything is very dirty, but it's an interesting field, so yeah. The first find of the day is going to be a push button, and I believe this is American. I hope you can hear me with that sound, but uh, I think this is an American push button. That's a great first find. Let's see if we can find more. All right, just found a broken shell casing. It's a uh, US, and as you can see on the bottom, it says 42, which means 1942. That's a very cool find, let's carry on. All right, just found this grommet, and I'm pretty sure this is from a military tent. So that's another interesting find. Just had a great signal, and look at that, right on top, right there. On the surface, that's an M1 carbine shell casing. It's broken, but look at that. Try to see a date. I believe it's 42, not sure, just above the ground. Just from the remains of a very old spoon or fork. In the back, there's a small stamp. Right there, that oval. Interesting find. Take a look at that. That is a US World War II coffee ration. Soluble coffee product. Contents, blah, blah, blah. canteen cup. Hot or cold water. You can see the other side. Directions on other side. These are always very cool to find. And it was folded, very small. Yep, awesome find. Another signal right next to the ration, and it's going to be a German live round. We can see on the bottom, it's from 1937. P162. That's a great find. Just found three old coins in a row, and another US World War II ration. Probably a lemon juice powder, or maybe another coffee. Not sure. It's folded very small, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna wait until I'm home, because then I wanna damage it, so. Awesome. Just found another coin. This is a Dutch one. And on the bottom, you can see the date, 1898. Do you remember when I found the German belt hook in the last video? That small forest where I found the belt hook is right behind this hill, and there is a small field between that forest and this piece of the forest. Uh, this is a bigger forest, and I decided to search right next to it, because it's pretty interesting. Something definitely happened there, so um, see if we can find some more World War II stuff today. And the first find of the day is going to be a piece of shrapnel. I just started right here, and this is already a World War II find, so that's extremely interesting. Artillery, not in the best condition, but it's World War II. Let's carry on. Oh yeah, another interesting find. Look at this. This is another piece of shrapnel, but this is a part of a time fuse. It's aluminum. And as you can see right there, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? 1941. That's in great condition. Look at that. Really happy that there is still a date on it. That makes it even better. Definitely a piece of a time fuse. It's a very cool piece. Awesome find. Let's carry on. Take a look at that. Look what I just found. That is a very old pendant. This is very cool. And it's made from aluminum. And if we turn it around, we can see a scary head right there. Hmm. This is very cool. I will try to clean it up a little. Hold on. Right, so I cleaned it a little. And look at that. Looks like it's still in pretty good condition. That is very cool. We actually just started and we already found this. This is very, very nice. This is a great find. Look. Almost fell out of my hand. So it's possible that this one was lost in World War II, or maybe before. Who knows? It's definitely old, and it's in a pretty strange location. So yeah, awesome find. Let's carry on. Look at this. Just found this old bell, and it still works. Isn't that cool? It's in great condition, and it has an eight on the bottom. Number eight. Another cool find. Right, I just found a very old button, and it's sort of hollow. Very strange model, look at that. Hopefully there is a marking on it, but yeah, I'm not sure. That's another cool find. Right, guys, just had a good signal. And that right there looks like a ring. It really looks like it. I still don't know. Let's take it out together. I'm pretty sure it is. Look at that, guys. That is a ring. That is very cool. All right, let's try to take the dirt out. Look at that. Wow, that is very, very cool. Look at that, guys. We just found a ring. It's very thin, but this is amazing. Yeah, you know about the coin that I found here, the silver coin? That one was also not in the best condition, so yeah, the ground isn't 
too good for relics here but guys we just found a ring this is amazing look at that looks pretty old I'm gonna try to clean it up a little. Wow, this this is very cool. Yeah, I just cleaned it a little. Look at this. I'm pretty sure there was a stone or something like that on it right there, but I can't find it, of course. Yeah, maybe it was already gone when uh, the person lost it. Who knows? But it's definitely silver. This is very cool. Ooh, my precious. All right, today I'm in the same forest. Actually, it's been a while because um, every time I wanted to go searching, the weather was very bad. It was cold, a lot of rain. Actually, the weather was pretty good today, but now we are here. The sun just disappeared, but yeah. I just started detecting right over here. Immediately got a signal. That right there is a musket ball, but look at this. That is strange. So yeah, I'm wondering, maybe it hit something like that. Maybe someone did this with a knife, I don't know. I really need new gloves, look at the holes. Oh yeah. Let's carry on. All right, right next to it, I just found this. I first thought it was a buckle, but I'm not sure what it is. I think there was a cross right there. I think it's supposed to be like this and like this. You can see it on the left side and on the right side. I don't know what it is. It looks a little bit like a a sight for a machine gun, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's not. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's an interesting thing. It's not in the best condition. It's probably gonna fall apart, but uh, yeah, it's old for sure. Let's carry on. This is strange things you can find in the forest. Look at this. Two of these cutter things in the same hole. They look pretty old. They're here for a long time. Look at this one. Very bad condition. <laughs> yeah, didn't expect to find this. Yeah, this part right here would pop out first and I would think I would find a sword or a bayonet but I'm lucky I uh, saw this part first. I'm not gonna keep them. All right guys, just found some pieces of shrapnel but the weather is getting worse and worse. So uh, yeah, it's getting very cold. Yeah, I just do not like this. So we are going home. It's not really nice weather to search right now. So um, yeah, I think we need to wait until the sun is back. Oh yeah, when it's dry. everybody today I'm on a field finally feeling a little better right now I've been sick for quite some time but I really couldn't resist um, doing some detecting today today we're in a field and the first find and I'm pretty sure that is going to be the bottom of a 50 cal shell casing I hope you can hear me um, because of the wind but look at that right there on the surface that's a 50 cal bottom shell casing yep I can already see it Let's clean a little, see what the date is. It's SL4 and only a four means 1944. So that's very cool. First find of the day is going to be a World War II relic. Awesome, let's carry on. All right, another interesting find. Um, I believe this is a pocket watch winder. So that's very cool. I found a lot of cool stuff here before, gold plated stuff, I found a ring. Um, there is a lot of pottery also in this field. It's just very, very interesting. Found some old jewelry here as well. Yeah, it's a um, very interesting place to search. You never know what you're gonna find. Also found a uniform button from Napoleon's army here. Very, very old spot. All right, another very cool find. Look at this. I found this before, also on this field. And I believe this is a cow label or a um, label for um, animals from the farmers. And this is very, very old. Look at the numbers right there. I believe it's 344 or something. Just look at the way how it's made. Yep, that's another great find. All right, I just found a coin. And this is definitely from the 16, 1700s. But at the moment, I can't see anything on it. Oh, wait, looks like there's some writing right there. Yeah, it's definitely old, 16, 1700s, that's for sure. Oops, there it goes. Yep, that's very cool. I love coins. Here you can see some old pottery. And right here, just found this. I first um, thought it was a button, but it's not actually. It's silver color, and on the back, you can see some threads right there. So you screw this onto something, and I think it's pretty old, but I'm not sure what it is. Oh man, I hate this weather. I want sun. But yeah, um, I just found another coin, and it's again old. Let's see if there is something on it. We can see anything. Probably not right now. No. I really need to clean it at home. Maybe everything on it is gone. I don't know. But yeah, it's definitely another old hammered coin, which is great. Let's carry on. Oh man, there's so much wind here. Unbelievable. 
but I just found another coin. Uh, it's very small and it's um, very thin, so I'm not sure I'm gonna see anything on it. But yeah, it's another very old coin, which is very cool. Just had a signal right over here and I wanted to dig and it was right over there. This small musket ball, look at that. Maybe from Napoleon's army. That is very cool. Or maybe from Spanish soldiers, who knows. It's cool for sure. A lot of Roman activity here. Uh, there were a lot of Roman villas and stuff in this area. So uh, yeah, you really find a lot of old stuff, even from the, the year zero. <laughs> Stone tools and stuff like that. Very, very interesting. But this is what I just found on the surface. It's, uh, yeah, this is definitely Roman from the rooftop. That's pretty interesting. I actually got a lot of them. I actually used them for my snakes. <laughs> I have them in the cages of my snakes and they lay on it. They love it. <laughs> Some more Roman stuff. And look at that right there. Some more old stuff. This is from a clay pipe. I think this might be from the 1800s maybe. We also got very thick ones. Those are from 1700 or maybe older. I actually have a lot of them. I just got boxes full of uh, pipes and pieces of this. I think I just found another musket ball right there on the surface. A lot of surface finds. Yep, look at that. That is very cool and it's in great condition. A lot of stuff happened here in all those years. And I just found another coin. Look at this beauty. That is a very, very cool hammered coin from the 1700s. I believe it's 1751, I'm not sure. It's a Belgian coin, look at all the shields. And on the other side, we can see a big shield and a lot of writing on the sides. These coins are always very cool to find. Look at that. Yep, this one is definitely better than the rest. That is very cool, I love hammered coins. And I just found another tag. It's bent by the plow but it's still a very cool find. All right, here are some of the finds after cleaning. No, these are not all the finds. I found a lot more, but uh, yeah, these are the most interesting ones. I also found a lot of bird rings and stuff like that, but yeah, it's not really interesting to show you. Here we got some World War II finds. We got some pieces of shrapnel, and this one is very cool. 1941, great condition. Then we have these rations. This one is coffee. And this one uh, was folded very small and I took it apart and there were actually two pieces. Just unbelievable if you think about it that a soldier ripped this open like that and just made it very small. And it's been like that more than 70 years. And I'm the one who opened it right now. And that is how it looks. It's in very good condition. Here you can see the other side. I love to find these. We have uh, three shell casings. Uh, well, actually only the bottoms. We have a 50 cal from 1944. We have a 30 cal from 1942 and a M1 carbine from 1942. Here we got two grommets, probably from the military tents. Still some canvas right there. Pretty cool. We got the top of a lead tube, which is of course very old. We have this aluminum seal. You find these a lot in the fields. Uh, this, I believe I've seen that before. I don't know what it says. It looks like some kind of a lid from a small box, I don't know. And most of the finds this time are actually very old. Let's start with the stuff that I don't know. Um, I really don't know what this is, I still don't know. Could this be some kind of a buckle, maybe a horse buckle, I don't know. Then we have this strange item. Looks like it has some kind of a hook right there. And yeah, it has a couple layers, I really don't know. Another strange item. Also couldn't resist taking these with me. <laughs> Roman stuff is always cool. Here we have those tags. They are very cool. There you can see 83. And this one, whoops, 344. Look at that. And just the way it's made. Very old and very cool to find. We got a part of a spoon or a fork. Extremely old. It has a stamp right there, but I cannot read it. And we have this thing. You definitely have to screw it onto something, but yeah, I don't know. Pretty old. We have three musket balls. This one was found in the forest. That is very strange. Maybe it was stopped by a sword. <laughs> you just never know. Very old and very interesting. And these were found today. Pretty good condition. And this one, also pretty old. You find this a lot on the on the fields, actually. Then we have this very old button. There are just no markings on it, so I just don't know anything about it. There is one thing I do know about it, and that's that it's very old. Look at the way the shank is made. That is really old. We got the piece of the clay pipe. And of course, this very cool pocket watch winder. It's still in pretty good condition. That is very cool. And we got all the coins. Um, most of them are unreadable or very hard to read. Yeah, this one is just completely gone. I think this one, yeah, can't see anything. 
this one very hard to see I believe this was a uh, 1700s coin from the city Aachen and yeah <laughs> it's just a round object so yeah it's completely gone this one yeah you can still see something right there you can see some writing I'm pretty sure this one is from the 1600s now we have this one this one is from 1898 it's in pretty bad condition the edges are falling off but it's a Dutch coin from 1898 and this one also something right there on the edge pretty hard to see but this one is pretty good look at this this is a Belgian coin from 1751 a hammered coin very nice look at that yeah this one is very cool and on the other side we can see a shield yep it's in pretty good condition that is definitely readable I really love hammered coins we got this bell, which is pretty funny, still works, pretty cool. And of course, this very, very cool pendant. It still needs some more cleaning, as you can see, but I'm doing it very carefully because I do not want to damage it. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty scary, and if we turn it around, we can see some writing. It's in uh, Latin language, and it means, my son, give me your heart. Yep, that's a very cool find. And of course, we have the silver ring. It's definitely silver, and there are no markings in it. But I'm pretty sure it's old. Maybe there was a very expensive stone right there. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I couldn't find it. So let's just not think about that. <laughs> but yeah, this is a very, very cool find, of course. Rings are always amazing to find. I'm really wondering what was on there. Like I said before, I think it's pretty And like I said before, I think it's pretty old. It was a short video, but better short than nothing, right? I want to wish you all happy holidays. And Merry Christmas, or in German language, Frohe Weihnachten! Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you liked the video. And if you did like the video, please leave a like and a comment. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And subscribe if you want to see more metal detecting videos. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.